BFFR. She is not getting my money. Are you crazy? I'm pulling up. The men out here are thinking y'all are crazy. What are you coming over here for? <laughs> You're not really dating a trapper. You're not dating a scammer. What are we talking about? Basically, you want to be my man. Like, you gotta grow up. Don't shoot the messenger. Do you, sis? Go off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer and as y'all can tell by the title, today we are doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to dinner with my man for Valentine's Day. So if y'all wanna chat it up with me, just keep watching. Y'all wanna see this cute look that I got on. You can't see the whole thing, but you can see it in the video, okay? So before we get into today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into it okay let's get started i brought you guys in kind of close so you can kind of see what's going on in the face listen i'm not a big makeup girl and if you know me in real life you know i do the same look so <laughs> yeah but i'm excited to do this chit chat get ready with me i have some topics on my phone that we're gonna talk about so yeah let's get into it um first thing first i'm going to be using the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation in the shade nine neutral love this foundation and i'm just going to mix it with the fenty beauty um eavesdrop blurring skin tint and this is in the shade 12 so this is my shade um but i just like to mix these two together because it gives me um like a nice not too full coverage because i'm not a super full coverage girl but um yeah it gives me the right coverage the right color and everything so uh, let's mix these together and let's start talking about the first thing which is tiktok <laughs> we got a few things about tiktok to talk about okay so first thing with tiktok is gatekeeping oh my gosh okay so I really don't know what the obsession with like not gatekeeping things are because please let's start gatekeeping at this point oh my goodness when it comes to every little thing whether it's beauty products or whether it's clothing or ugh, whatever it is every time it goes on TikTok, it literally goes viral and it sells out and it could be something that you've been buying for a while and you've been loving or whatever but tiktok just caught on to it and now everybody else love it and now you can't even find your favorite item anymore like <sighs> gatekeeping on tiktok is so freaking annoying to me like oh my gosh let me know if it's just me because say like you go to sephora and you discover a bomb concealer that works perfectly for you. Like, let's talk about the Kosas concealer. I never tried it because it's just not in my deck of cards to try. Like, I really don't care. I don't need a ton of concealers. Um, But like, let's say you love that. Okay, boom, it goes viral on freaking TikTok because Hailey Bieber or somebody posted it and decided not to gatekeep, gatekeep. And now all of a sudden it's viral. Like. That is super, super annoying to me. Like, y'all, it be simple stuff like Target stuff, Target workout clothes, like, be for real. And another thing with TikTok is, it's just like, they make all of this stuff go viral and they're like, oh, I don't wanna gatekeep, I don't wanna gatekeep. And it's like all of these people flood and run to go get these items and these products. And it's like you don't even need it you you don't even need it you just want it because you see people on tiktok have it you know like i think that's the weirdest part of it all to me like y'all know what really give me those 40 dollars stanley cups 40 dollars for a cup bffr Be, for real y'all are out here paying 40 dollars for a cut why in what world? In what world am I about to pay $40 for one cup? That's wild. 
and people are out here starting collections and everything like y'all are just buying stuff because you see other people have it like I don't know if it's a thing like a FOMO situation like but you gotta grow up because I don't care if the whole world got that $40 cup I'm not buying it I'm not like and it's not even that I can't afford it I can afford for I can afford a $40 cup I don't want to afford a for like it's that cat you drinking water out of it like make it make sense make it TikTok is a weird place I like let me know if y'all feel the same way I feel like TikTok is like such a weird place when it comes to like influencing and stuff like people are so easily influenced on TikTok it's so weird to me and maybe it's just because I'm the type of person like I don't give into peer pressure like that hold on I'm gonna go in with this milk milk makeup milk not even on it no more that's how much i've used this this is the um concealer in the shade golden sand and then i'm also going to be using these two nars creamy concealers and this one is in the shade ginger and this one is in the shade in the shade tiramisu okay but yeah i'm not like super into or not even into like you can't peer pressure me like that like I just I don't care like I don't care what it is like if I don't want to do it or if I don't want to buy it or if I don't feel like you can't peer pressure me into it I don't care what it is like girl it could be it'll be drugs it could be alcohol it could be going somewhere it could be spending money like it does not matter to me like if I don't want to do it like there's nothing really that you can tell me to make me want to do it because I don't want to do it like I don't know I've just always been that person like you you can't pressure me into doing nothing that I just don't want to do so yeah um okay next thing <sighs> next thing another thing about TikTok okay this is I have a few TikTok things on here but they're like TikTok topics or like trending topics and stuff on TikTok so with the whole like influencing on TikTok thing, it's so crazy to me how TikTok be influencing people to move places. You mean to tell me you saw somebody have a good time on TikTok. You never been to the place, but you saw somebody on TikTok or Instagram or whatever having a good time there. And you said, I got to move there. You said, that's the place for me. I ain't never even been there, but that's the place for me. Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? Oh my gosh, y'all do not understand how many TikToks I've seen with people moving to Houston, okay? People moving to Houston. Literally people packing up their whole entire lives and being like, I've never even been to Houston before, but I, it's like, it looks so, or people who come for a weekend or like vacation or something, you know, and like they enjoy the nightlife and whatever. And all of a sudden you want to move here. Is that not weird? Like, and then what really gets me is they move here and then they get on TikTok. And they talk about how it's not all cracked up to be what they thought it was going to be. Because you came here for a weekend and you had a good time and you you committed fully to it. And you thought your whole life was going to be like that one weekend? Huh? Come again? Like that is the craziest thing to me. Oh my gosh. Like these people are really just out here moving like just up in their lives moving somewhere just off of one good weekend or a TikTok or what other people have said like that's so crazy to me and it's like okay you 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 like the city you move you move here because you think it's a good time or whatever but like what was the plan Cause was the plan for you to just come here in good time? Because nine times out of ten, y'all, the TikToks that I see that are dissing Houston and da 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 are people who came here for a weekend, had a good time, decided to move here, and then say, "Oh, it's not as cracked up as it, it whatever," and basically down talk it and talk about how like 
how like the nightlife is not all you know whatever and how it's so expensive oh that's that's the main one how it's so expensive and how everything costs money and and how much money they spend in a weekend and they be posting it like how much money and i be like hmm. like what what what'd you do where'd you go to spend that amount of money like y'all get what i'm saying like is that not weird to y'all for people to just like up and move somewhere like that just because it's a trendy place on like tiktok or is that not weird let me know because like and i know it's not just houston it's atlanta it's new york it's blah, blah blah it's it's all of these places and people are literally just no plan to just vibes you know like what was your plan for work what what <laughs> that's so crazy to me um okay so another topic that I wanted to touch on was something um, I saw, I think Asia, I think Asia talks about this and wanted her to check it ready with me. And it's low maintenance friends, because this is also like a TikTok trendy topic, whatever, low maintenance friends and being a low maintenance friend and having low maintenance friends and blah, 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 blah. Here's my take on it. I myself, I am a low maintenance friend, okay? You can ask any of my friends. I'm a low maintenance friend. We don't have to talk every day. We don't have to talk every week. We don't have to talk every month. <laughs> we don't. But when you call me, I'm there. When you need me, skr -skr, I'm pulling up. You know, like, I'm there. If you need to talk, I'm one call away. Call me. But I can't deal with needy friends. Like, oh, I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Like, those friendships where you want to talk on the phone all day, you want to text all day, every day. Basically, you want to be my man. You want to be my man part two. That don't work for me. <laughs> That don't work for me because like, I I don't, I, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the mental capacity. I, I don't have it. Like, I'm a very low maintenance friend. Like, it is me. I am here. I am she. Okay. And I have some friends who are not low maintenance friends. Like, they want high maintenance friends or whatever kind of friends and that's cool and they have those friends but they just know that's not me they know it's not me it's it's not summer like when we link up we gonna have the times of our lives we gonna we gonna chat it up like we never missed a beat but girl you want to talk every day about what what are we talking about what are we talking about every single day it ain't that much to talk about. Like, if I talk to you every single day, when we finally get together, what are we gonna talk about? We ain't gonna have many to talk about. We gonna be sitting there in silence. And that was another thing. Like, there was this TikTok that was like, um, I I like this type of friends or friendships where my friends come over and we can sit down and not say anything and just watch TV in silence or like you can come over and we don't have to even talk to each other. Come again? What are you coming over here for? <laughs> what are you coming? Why, are you wasting my time? Why are you coming over here? You, you better be coming over here to catch up, to hang out, to chill out. Like you're just coming over and we're just gonna sit in silence. What sense does that make? Like, I get it after we caught up or whatever, we decide to watch a movie or chill or whatever, and it's quiet, okay, cool, but like, that's all we doing? Like, you just coming over after work to chill and we not talk, 
Do you know what else I could be doing with my time? Other than sitting here in silence with you? Y'all let me know if it's just me, cause I'm, I'm very weird with friends. Like, <laughs> when it comes to friends, I don't know, I'm very weird. Okay, I'm using this Fenty Beauty um, matchstick in the shade Truffle to do my contour. Um, but yeah, like y'all let me know what y'all think about that whole like low maintenance friend thing because I know like some of my friends watch my videos and stuff and this will be no surprise. This is, it's not going to be a surprise. It's not going to be a shock. Like they already know how, they already know how I am. And I've literally been that way since you signed up for it like you knew what you were signing yourself up for so yeah girl <laughs> i don't know what to tell you okay we're just flying through topics but the next topic so controversial so controversial okay and it's been talked about time and time again but guess what it ain't been talked about on my channel and we finna talk about it and i'm gonna give y'all my opinion on it because i have one okay you ready the topic is going 50-50 with a man. Okay. Before I even say my opinion on it, y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about going 50-50 with a man. Like, do you think yes? Do you think it don't matter? Do you think hell to them? Nah. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. So here's my opinion on going 50-50 with a man. <laughs> If it works for you, okay. If it don't apply, let it fly, okay? And I say that to say, if you are in a situation with a man who can take care of you with no problem, like that's not even a drop in a bucket, it's not making a dent in the bank account, like he makes two times, three times more than you and like, Okay, like don't like I, I probably wouldn't want to go 50-50 with you either. Like why why are we going 50-50? If you make double what I make, triple what I make, it's not even affecting your bank account. Like, nah, I'm probably not gonna go 50-50 with you. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. But I think it depends on everybody's situation because everybody wants to have an opinion on this, but nobody wants to talk about real life and real men and the real men that they are dating because everybody wants to talk about these, this Instagram social media life that everybody wants to have, but in reality, you don't really have that life. In reality, you're not really dating a rapper. You're not really dating a, you're not really dating a trapper. You're not dating a scammer. Like you're dating Bobby who worked down at the post office, okay? Or you date in Tommy who, who, I don't know, who fixed computers. Like, everybody is not out here dating rappers and trappers and athletes, okay? So when you wanna comment on it, make sure your situation is what you comment on. You give me your opinion on your situation, you know what I'm saying? And so, with that, with that being said, if you're dating a an average man who's making average money, and not to say there's anything wrong with average money, but I'm just saying like he's not he, he's not bringing in I don't know uh, 200k a year, you know? Because okay, to be honest. At my big age, 28, um, men that I men that I date or that are in my my age group, 28 and up, I wouldn't even date nobody 28 to be honest with you. But men in their early 30s, here we go. Men in their early 30s and even later 30s and up are probably making six figures just being honest and i'm talking like regular jobs like if you work in accounting if you work in tech if you work in um in sales if you work in if you're a lawyer if you regular working jobs regular working if you drive trucks if you whatever like 
at the big age of 30 and up, you're bringing in, if you're not bringing in close to six figures, you're at least making like 75 and up. Okay, you're at least making 75 and up. And I say that to say, you dating somebody who making 75 and up, right? You probably making the same thing. If not, you might be a, a little smidge behind them, okay? So y'all about what and what almost when it come to pay. You expect this man to fully take care of you? What would you, if you was a man, would you fully take care of somebody on that salary that you making? No, no, you wouldn't. Like, how do you expect somebody to build themselves up and to save and become in a place of financial stability to take care of you in the future? If right away, you like, time to, time to pay up, time to take care of me. Like, I'm gonna kick my feet back. Like, time to go to work how do you how do you expect that to work like it's not gonna work and in that case like i'm all for going 50 50 like in those kind of situations yes absolutely 50 50 because and it don't even have to be 50 50 it can be whatever percent you agree on but i'm just saying like I don't think you can fully expect somebody to fully take care of you if if that's what they bring at home. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. That's how I personally feel about going 50-50 with a man. Like, y'all let me know. How, how, how do y'all feel about it? Do y'all think like some of you tripping? I'm not, I don't care how much he making, cause he finna pay these bills. Or are you like, nah, I agree. I, I pick up what you putting down. I feel you, sis. Let me know. Let me know what y'all are thinking because the men out here are thinking y'all are crazy for expecting them to go um, to pay all the bills. But what I will say is like some women, they come out the gate like, like first date like have did y'all see that um what was that show on hbo max uh the Easter ray show with the 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 people who lived in la oh there's like a hair oh my gosh there we go the Easter ray show with the people who lived in la in their early 20s or, or mid 20s or whatever y'all know who i'm talking about and the girl Brie went on a date with the guy and she was like, yeah, I want a man to pay my bills. <laughs> and he was like, whoa. Because it's like, dang, you don't even know how much this man make. You, you like, you literally know nothing about this man. And you saying, yeah, if I move in with a man, he finna pay all my bills. But it's like, when you think about it, you was already paying your bills on your own right like fully so you moving in with a man and going 50 50 is saving you money still like in the end you're still saving money i don't know i just feel like sometimes people gotta grow up <laughs> like you gotta grow up and you gotta wake up and face reality like at some point okay wait i forgot to tell y'all i'm using my charlotte berry what? charlotte tilbury um powder press powder whatever it's called in the shade two medium i just have this small one and it's the last one so yeah but i'm just setting under my eyes with this powder and then i'm gonna go in with my huda beauty and you know bake under my eyes or whatever y'all call it girl um oh and then i didn't tell y'all i used my patrick ta creamy blush it's the one back here the creamy one i use that for like my little my cream base that i do um and yeah so i'm about to go in with the huda beauty and i have banana bread that's the powder that i have so but yeah so that's my whole little spiel on the 50 50 with a man 
like I said, if it don't apply, let it fly. Like, it is what it is. Um, okay, something else that I want to talk about. Instagram versus reality. And like, TikTok and all of that. And people feeling like, what you see on social media, like people your age and stuff doing is where you should be and what you should be doing. Because listen, what's it called? It's not imposter syndrome. I don't know what, what that thing is called where like you feel like you're not where you should be because I can't think of the name of it, but I just explained it to y'all. Um, you are you feel like you're not where you should be because you're comparing pe yourself to other people around you or on social media. And I used to do that so bad. Oh, so bad, so bad, so bad. And I'm not even gonna hold you. I still like, sometimes I still do it a little. And I've gotten way better with it because it's like you see these people on social media you see the things that they have you see the things that they're doing the places that they're going and you're like dang like we the same age and this is what I'm doing like I'm nowhere near doing what they're doing and that's okay because everybody moves at their own pace at their own speed and guess what a lot of times, the people who be posting on Instagram, girl, they be fronting, okay? They be fronting. Those items and stuff that they have, sometimes they be fake because just like I see, I know y'all see all of them DH gate TikToks and all of that stuff, yeah. Like, you can't compare, you can't compare yourself to everybody. You cannot be that hard on yourself because there's this girl this one particular girl who I follow on Instagram and this girl is like a year or two under me and she would always post like a lot of stuff on her Instagram like whenever she got promoted at her job and like um, she bought a house and all of this kind of stuff like and I would just be like, dang, like this girl is younger than me and she bought a house. Like, I'm not doing what I need to be doing. I'm not, no, 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 no. Like, that's not your race. That's her race. Like, and also you don't know what people have been through in their past that got them to be where they are today. So before you go comparing yourself, you probably had it easier in the past than, the, than those people did. So you might want to be careful before you wish you had somebody else's life. You know, like, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going in with the, not that. I'm going in with this bronzer. Y'all, I've literally had this bronzer for so long. Like, y'all know makeup expire? Yeah. This expired after 24 months. I have probably had this since. I'm ashamed to say just know it's probably been like five years at least five years <laughs> but it is this milani baked bronzer in the shade soleil so yeah i'm gonna go in with the bronzer warm us back up some and i'm not like the best with makeup but what I do works for me, like, and if you're not the biggest makeup girl, you can try because, <laughs> like I say, it worked for me and I'm not the biggest makeup girl, so. Um, let me fix my nose really quick. Okay, I have a question. Are y'all, like, big Beyonce fans? Are y'all part of the beehive, like... What's tea? What's tea, sis? How do y'all feel? About, how do y'all feel about it? And don't come for me in the comments, okay? Because your girl is not a part of the beehive. I'm not a part of the beehive. And that's not me saying I don't like Beyonce or none of that. But yeah, no, nah, I'm not a part of the beehive. I think Beyonce is cool. I think she's cool. I like. I like her music, but 
so y'all know she just dropped these these tour these tour dates and and tickets and stuff and why don't nobody peep that every time she go on tour and she drop her her dates and her tickets why nobody peep that it's always during tax season it's always during tax season i'm just saying uh i'm don't shoot the messenger i'm just saying like she know what she doing she knows exactly what it is she is doing like she taking y'all money she taking y'all tax money she taking y'all refund checks and i say y'all because she not taking my name because <laughs> absolutely not no ma'am and those concert tickets legit like three hundred dollars and that's not even floor seats. <laughs> that's like kind of towards the top. Um, it's a no for me, sis. It, you just made twenty-four million dollars overseas in Dubai performing for them people, and here you go coming back to the states. Want to take all of our little coins? Up. And y'all are giving them to her like I'm so sad for y'all. I'm really sad for y'all, honestly. Like, I've had the pleasure of seeing Beyonce in, perform in my lifetime. I did not pay for the tickets. I saw her perform. She's a great performer. She's a great per performer. Okay, I won't, I won't knock her for that. She's a really good performer. But I've seen her like. Every time she come out with a new tour, I don't need to see her over and over and over again. Like, I don't need to keep giving her my money. Like, you know, I, like, is it just me? It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, and, and you might be one of those people who give her your money every single time because she's going to put on a great show and you want to see it. And you know what? Do you, sis, go off because she ain't getting my money. She is not getting my money. Okay, so I just set my face or just sprayed my face with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's bringing a little life back into me. Um, and then I'm going to do my mascara because I have lashes. Um, where are they? Literally right here. They're the Ardell. I think these are like the Wispies or something. 815. Mm -mm. We're not doing those. Okay, we're not doing those because I really don't feel like it. Lashes, they just, they ruin the whole, not the whole look, but my whole mood because I cannot do them. Like, ugh, I hate, they're going to be the death of me, okay? But I'm going to use this mascara by Maybelline. It's the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. Y'all, I got this in a sample, like at Target, like a sample bag thing that they have. This is fire. Fire. Run and go get it. Okay, run and go get it because this is so good. So good. Like, can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can y'all see the difference. No mascara, one coat of mascara, and I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even being that Michaela girl on TikTok. <laughs> Today's whole chat was TikTok. That's hilarious. All right, so I did my mascara and gelled up my brows. Um, lastly, for the face is lips. So I'm gonna use this Sephora lip liner in the shade light brown. And then I'm gonna use this Fenty heat gloss in the shade Fussy. So. Is this like the perfect like 
neutral brown to wear with like pinks and stuff. Y'all, this gloss is really a lip lip plumper gloss. I just want y'all to see my lips right now. And we're going to come back after and see how luscious they look. <laughs> see, it's like the perfect liner. So this is the final look this little white t-shirt crop top from Zara these cute little satin cargo pants from Zara as well heels from Steve Madden and then I just paired it with my little Alexander Wang um, satin bag because it goes with the satin pants so yeah that's it that's all let me know what y'all thought about this get ready with me unfortunately my hair will not hold a curl because it is freshly washed so it's just doing what it does nothing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye summer, 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 summer